So the Muppet Christmas Carol, uh, directed by Brian Henson. Uh, this is the son of Jim Henson. Uh, he made this shortly after Jim Henson died. If I recall correctly, it was Jim Henson and another puppeteer died around the same time. Was, his name was Richard Hunt. They, uh, I think at the beginning of the movie, they uh, honored the film uh, with, with them. But yeah, Muppet Christmas Carol is... It, it, first of all, it, it, like all the other Muppet movies, it's a it's a very good movie. But what I was surprised when I watched it was how faithful it was to the Christmas Carol book. It it just has Muppet trappings in there. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that because usually when they uh, kidify or they uh, or they yeah when they kidify or they do an adaptation like this, uh, they usually change things around or they well they did change one thing around but that that was fine they usually change things around they usually add characters so that the kids can get like emotionally invested in some sort of way in some wacky character well maybe Rizzo counts with that but anyway uh, but they didn't change it that much uh, it, it stayed true to the story of the Christmas Carol and I want to start off by, let's just get to performances real quick, because there's only one performance to talk about. It's Michael Caine. And Michael Caine's great in this. I read articles about this movie after I watched it, and it didn't surprise me to see that Michael Caine uh, pretty much said to Brian Henson when he uh, when he decided to do this movie, and he was excited to do this, and it, it kind of shows in the movie how excited he was to do this movie, um, that he was going to do this movie straight like it's a a London theater presentation. Like, he was going to be super serious. He wasn't going to mug for the camera. He wasn't going to do anything silly. He was going to play it straight, and that's exactly what he did. And you know what? The movie is very effective doing that. He gives a very good performance, which, you know, it's Michael Caine. <laughs> that's not a surprise. So he, he did the role of Ebenezer Scrooge very well, and... The fact that he played it so straight while being around a bunch of Muppets. At first, it was kind of funny, but then it just fits really well. I don't know how to explain it, really. It, he just seems so natural with the other Muppets in the movie. And usually with all the other Muppet movies. Uh, I'm talking, uh, yeah, like Treasure Island and Muppets from Space. Because the these are Muppets and they are, you know, puppets and they act wacky and stuff, the, the characters themselves end up acting kind of wacky as well to, to counteract or to just blend in with the, the rest of the shenanigans that the Muppets do. The fact that Kane was able to not do that and to s still make it seem pretty good, to seem good and to seem... <laughs> enjoyable to watch it and not feel weird uh, I think really shows how talented he is the movie better I, I don't think if you had another actor there who was as good as Kane playing Ebenezer Scrooge that you would have you would have this you, you, he would have to mug he would have to do silly things as well or do pratfalls or stupid stuff like that in order to keep the the movie entertaining the fact that this is uh, this is just a straight interpretation just with muppets is it was really interesting to watch and and it's to see how effective it was i got a thumbs up on that 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 surprised me i was expecting a lot of different things to happen aside from what the actual story entails but when i realized that oh no they didn't do that at all they just did a straight adaptation and just sprinkled some of the Muppets in there. Like the the asides with uh, Gonzo as Charles Dickens. That was good. I liked that. Uh, Gonzo as Charles Dickens and with Rizzo uh, I, I, were pretty funny. They were pretty funny on that as well. Really not much to talk about. Uh, the writing is the writing. They, they adapted the, the Christmas Carol faithfully and just sprinkled on some Muppets in there. And they got the blend... Uh, very right in this. Uh, they stayed true to the, the novel, but they added enough personality from the Muppets that it, it's still entertaining in what I would think that most kids would find like the slow sides of of the story. And I gotta give them credit too. Uh, a lot of adaptations 
of a Christmas Carol. I'm thinking of Mickey's Christmas Carol, some other ones of Christmas Carol as well. They really downplay how sick Tiny Tim is, and this movie didn't do it. They showed him coughing, having a, a hard time breathing, being overexcited. Like they don't, they don't shy away from that, which is great. I, I thought that was a a good thing to do as well in this. Yep, yeah, that that's that's it really. Like the the jokes aren't bad either. The jokes are pretty good. Like there's some funny uh, things that happen in the movie. It, it was clear that uh, the director and the writer, uh, the writers wanted to keep the Christmas Carol central to the story and just sprinkle in the Muppets from time to time. And that was it. And that was a great move because uh, that's something that Muppet Treasure Island didn't do, <laughs> which is fine. But I don't think you could get away with that with uh, uh, the Christmas Carol. And they they didn't try it. So and it worked well in their favor uh as for direction uh, i think this is brian henson's first directing i think this is his first time directing and it was good uh, it's not a big looker <laughs> it's not something amazing but oftentimes like I, I i how often when watching this i was like how did they do this sh-? not the how they do this shot but how did they make it looks so good without seeing the strings or seeing the holes in the Muppets or anything. Like, I would like to see a behind-the-scenes thing about how they make... I think there are stuff about how they make Kermit walk and um, and how to not make the strings look visible on, in a shot. Like, I would love to see stuff like that because it is often amazing how it looks and how they were able to do all that stuff without it looking like, oh, the, there's the puppet strings. Oh, there's where the, the hand goes. So, yeah, that's that's really... I, I really want to see a behind-the-scenes thing of that. But when it comes to shot composition and uh, the way the, the, the movie looks, I mean, it's average. It's nothing to write home about, but it does the job, is what I, I would say. And it's rudimentary, I, I guess. It's average. It doesn't do a lot to, it's not showy, but it does enough to just let the story go through. Which, fine, that is perfectly fine. So, I can't say it's bad, but I'm not going to turn around and say, like, oh, it's amazing. It's fine, it's fine, it does what it does. Okay, I'm not going to go into spoilers in this, because honestly, I think we all know the story of the Christmas Carol, and... It would be kind of pointless to do spoilers on this, so let's just get right down to my final thoughts uh, on uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet Christmas Carol, I can see why a lot of people do like this movie and think it's one of the better Christmas movies out there. Uh, It's got a great performance by Michael Caine uh, doing a, a very good Ebenezer Scrooge. The Muppets are used only, you know... They're, they're used sparingly. I wouldn't say sparingly. They're all over the movie, but the humor and the the madcapness is is toned down, which I was kind of surprised by. Uh, it's toned down, but it's blended so well with the story that it, it just still fits. And, and, and I understand why a lot of people find this to be their favorite uh, interpretation of the Christmas Carol, because it is faithful to the main story. The, the details might be off, but, you know, whatever. It, it, they are making it a Muppets version. But with that, it, it's still a pretty faithful adaptation to a, a certain extent. They, Of course, they change stuff. I definitely enjoyed it. I see why a lot of people like this movie, and I'm glad I saw it. And it makes me want to see the other Muppet movies that I haven't seen yet. So uh, I, this is a, th- I'm not going to go crazy. This is a three-star movie. I definitely enjoyed it. I think it is one of the better Christmas movies out there. I'm going to watch one more for next week. And yeah, I if you haven't seen it and you still want to get into the spirit, I, I definitely enjoy it. I'd say go ahead and watch it. You'll like it. 